Hey there guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, I just wanted to show you a phone here. So this is the new mobile R1. And I was sent this uh, by Adam from Tech Odyssey. And I really appreciate him sending this to me. Uh, I will link uh, his channel in the description below if you want to check out his channel. He does a lot of reviews and uh, different cool stuff on a whole bunch of different kinds of devices. And this was one that he previously reviewed. Uh, so definitely appreciate him sending me this. So uh, what this is, is this is a budget rugged phone basically. And you can definitely tell it's a rugged phone based on the, uh, the build here. So we've got a uh, five inch uh, IPS display and it is a 720, uh, 720p display. Uh, so this is a, uh, right now it's running, it's going for $109.99, $110 basically. Um, and this has, uh, let's see, what are our specs here? So our specs on this bad boy. Uh, processor, we have a MediaTek, we have a MediaTek 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor in here. Um, it does have two gigs of RAM. Uh, it does have a eight megapixel rear camera here. Uh, it does have a flash. And then on the front, we have a two megapixel camera here. Um, it does come with 16 gigs of uh, onboard storage. So not a whole bunch, but a decent amount. And um, it does support micro SD cards up to 32 gigs. Uh, so it does have a hefty battery in it. It does have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery in there. So that's really good. So um, definitely, definitely good. So this is an unlocked phone um, that you can buy directly from them or on Amazon. And uh, it does offer LTE and GSM. It does have dual, um, dual SIMs. So you can have multiple SIM cards in here if you wanted to. Um, and both can do uh, 4G LTE. Um, they're both micro SIM, so not nano SIM, so you will have to have an adapter if you have a nano SIM. The uh, LTE bands that it offers are 2, 4, 5, 7, 12, 17, and 28. Um, and it does offer GSM bands, 850, 900, 1800, 1900, WCDMA bands, 850, 1700, 1900, and 2100. So it is cool. You can use this on Verizon Sprint, T-Mobile, and AT&T here in the U.S. Uh, it does have Wi-Fi 802.11 A, B, G, and N. I'm not sure why it's missing AC. Um, and then it does have Bluetooth 4.2. So, uh, and then the operating system on here is Android 8.1 Oreo. So, what do you get for a phone that's $110 right now? Now, normally it goes for $150, but um, it seems it's on sale right now. All right, so I'll just go ahead and show you the phone here. So on the front here, we do have that five inch screen. It does have a screen protector pre-installed um, and it's supposed to be a shadow resistant screen. Uh, we do have our three capacitive buttons here for our Android controls. So we have a back button, home button, and our multitasking button here. Uh, you can see it's got this kind of uh, squared off kind of look here. And it does have a little bit of a lip, probably not enough uh, for my liking. I think that it should have more of a lip. But on the side here, you'll see we do have some exposed screws here. We do have our SIMs and TF card. So those that's our expansion slot here. And each of these is covered with a nice little cover for each different port. Uh, this is water resistant, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so as I said, you got the exposed screws here. And you've got this kind of nice ridge on each corner. On the bottom here, we do have our microphone. And then we have a covered micro USB port. So that's really nice. On the other side here, we do have more exposed screws here. You do have a dedicated camera button, which is nice. Uh, we do have our power and sleep key here and our volume up and down button here. On the top, we have, uh, we have a headset jack, which is nice. And this is also covered. Uh, that's kind of interesting. You can see the LED right through there. So there is an LED right here, indicator, and this just comes out. So hopefully you don't lose that. <laughs> um, on the back here, we'll show you this kind of interesting design. So this is like a rubber kind of material, which is really nice. You do have a little bit of grip here and you do have that new mobile logo right here, which is shiny and obviously a fingerprint magnet. Your speaker is back here. Um, it does say it's IP68 uh, water resistant, H2O submersible. So I'll definitely test that and see how well that goes. And then I'll show you this display here. 
So here is our display. Uh, you do have your little ambient light sensor, your earpiece, our two megapixel camera, and as I said, those three capacitive buttons. So when you turn it on here, you do have your shortcut key for your camera, shortcut key for your microphone, and that can be changed, obviously. Uh, and then you get a relatively stock version of Android, which is really nice. So as I said, this is running uh, Android 8.1 Oreo, and I'll just show you the information here. So we have Android 8.1, and it's running Android Security Patch uh, November 5th, 2018. So a little bit behind. Um, there are no updates that I've seen. Now oh, let's see, it's checking for updates now. Your device's software is currently up to date. So there are no updates that I can see here, but there's nothing wrong with that. Android 8.1 is pretty good. So um, as I said, a relatively stock version of Android. And the only thing that I can see that's added here, you can see a cell broadcast app here. You do have a different camera um, app there. And then you have a, you have a SIM toolkit. So um, not not too shabby there. Not a lot of apps. I will show you how much storage you get in here. Um, as I said, it's 16 gigs, so you're not going to get a lot. So I do have a couple apps on here, but I have 7.5 gigs out of the 16. So and that's only with a few apps. So the only apps I have on here are I do have CPU Z and Antutu Benchmark. Um, it does have so these are haptic feedback, so you can hear the little vibrating motor going. Performance is okay. Uh, it's not the greatest, but I will show you, here, I'll show you uh, YouTube and see how that works here. Now the screen might be a little bit bad, just um, I think the screen protector is a little bit of a matte screen protector, so it's not the greatest thing in the world, so it kind of ruins the uh, ruins the clarity of it here, but I think it's for added protection. So if we wanna just go in here and just look at a video, I just wanna see, so you can see it scrolls pretty well and it's loading pretty quickly, it's not terrible. All right, we'll go ahead and just open this video here so you can get an idea of how it sounds. Focused on a Twitter battle. I thought it would be appropriate to introduce so, another edition of. I don't uh, like a popular the speakers on the back. Tweets. This is where we ask celebrities to read it. some of the terrible things people write so it's about not too them bad. on Twitter. You can still put it down and still hear it. So it's not too bad. In honor of so one thing I will say about this that I really enjoy is the build of it. I think is really nice. It's got a nice heft to it, um, and I have to say that these buttons are really nice and clicky. I don't know if you can hear it, but they are really nice and satisfying to click here, so I really appreciate that. So here's one thing I was curious about, 802.11 A, B, G, and N. You are lacking some speed here, so I get about 200 megabits per second on my internet here at home, and you can see you're not getting, uh, you're not getting the full potential speed here. So I did do a benchmark test here with the N22 benchmark, and this is our score here, and it is definitely relatively low here. All right, now it's time for our super scientific water test. All right, so I'm running one of my videos because, you know, self-promotion. Go ahead and put it in this water and see how it does. All right, so it's running just fine. It seems that the uh, screen got a little confused there. So it seems to be working pretty well still. XP Professional 2002 Oh, it decided to start someone else's video. That's fine. <laughs> uh, but it seems to be doing okay. So a little bit of water ain't gonna hurt it. All right, so if anybody knows me, they know I don't play video games. <laughs> um, it's, it's just, I'm a weird person, I guess, but um, I am going to play a little bit of a game on here just to show you the uh, gameplay on here. Let's see. So this is called Alto's Odyssey. See, I can't even play this kind of stuff. <laughs> you get the idea. I'm not very good at this. 
but it runs this game pretty well, and I'm assuming that it would d handle games pretty well. Um, it's not the greatest processor and everything, but it handles these kind of mini games and stuff like that pretty well. So not too shabby. The thing I really enjoy doing uh, with different phones is I like to see what wallpapers they include on the phone itself. So I just figured let's go through them real quick. So um, we do have a couple here. And of course they are definitely out, outdoorsy kind of uh, pictures, but we have this one here. I believe that's the one that comes with its stock have a nice mountain here somebody doing a little skiing there another person skiing off a mountain you have a nice little husky dog and he kind of looks like he has a little attitude going but he's in the snow he's not happy this is the one i'm currently using here and another one there kind of bright sun blast the literal sun <laughs> And then we have that one. So just a couple of the uh, wallpapers that are included on this phone. All right, so I'll give you some pros and cons on this phone. And we'll start with the pros here. So pro, you got a pretty nice display here. Another pro, you have a fairly stock version of Android. So no blowware, no garbage, really nice. Another pro, unlocked, can work on both CDMA and GSM carriers here in the US, really nice. Pro, this build quality. I'm really impressed with the build quality, especially considering this is a budget phone. Another pro, big battery. That is awesome, 4,000 milliamp hours. So this is a beefy phone, but it has a beefy battery, and that's great. So that means it will last you all day. Another pro, dual SIM. Now, that I know that's usually seen in budget phones, um, but having dual SIM is pretty nice. And the fact that it's compatible with Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, and T-Mobile here. All right, now for some of the cons of the phone. All right, cons. It is running an older version of Android. So that's unfortunate, but a lot of budget phones are. Uh, the majority of the ones I saw, I saw some at Best Buy yesterday that were running Android 9. So it's not terribly far behind. Uh, another con. Ooh, these cameras, man. These cameras are not great. And I will put some pictures up so you can see them in just a moment here, and uh, you'll see what I mean. Door sample with a rear camera. Front facing camera sample from the new R1 outside. I look terrible, but here is an indoor sample in low light with the rear camera on the new mobile R1. Little shaky, but not terrible. Here's a quick sample of the front facing camera on the new mobile R1. I am in a low light room. It's not the greatest, but here's the sample anyway. <laughs> Another con, performance. It's not the fastest thing in the world and you are limited by that two gigs of RAM and that processor is only quad core. So performance is not gonna be great. Another con, that Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi chip only getting Wi-Fi in. You don't have AC on this, which is just kind of surprising to me. Uh, another con, 16 gigs of onboard storage. It's kind of poop. Um, it does make up for it by having a expandable card here. Con, rear facing speakers. These are a no-no to me. I don't like rear facing speakers. Now, it does sound good. And when you put it flat on a table, you can still hear it, but that is always going to be All right. Con. So another con here, micro USB. Now I know I shouldn't be nitpicky about that because a lot of phones still offer micro USB, but we are getting to the point where a lot of phones, even phones from 2016, 2017, <clears throat> have a USB-C port rather than a micro USB. All right, so our last thoughts here. Do I recommend getting one of these phones? I'd say yeah. If you are in an environment that needs 
a tough phone like this that can handle, you know, dirt and dust and water and that kind of thing and the occasional drop. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. Um, especially being on sale for $110. If you just need an unlocked phone that can handle a beating, definitely do it. It seems to be worth it. You know, the only, the only thing that really, really keeps me from recommending this phone is the camera. And I think that because the camera to me is really important. Um, even if you are, you know, in a, an environment that requires a tough kind of phone, I think that a camera is still very important to have. Um, I mean, if you're on a construction site or if you're like a surveyor or something and you need to have a good camera, this is not going to be the one for you. Um, so definitely spend a little bit more and get a better, you know, get a better one with a better camera. Um, but if you don't care about the camera as much and you just need something tough that can handle a beating and still gets the job done, yeah, definitely do it. I recommend it wholeheartedly. 110 bucks on sale right now. Not bad. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little review of the new R1. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. If you did like the video, please leave me a like. And if you want to see more like this, please consider subscribing. And of course, if you want to have notifications, on, well, yeah. Anyway, all that good crap. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.